error bars, A level physics are basically what they are is say you have two, you have a graph, say on said graph you have stuff such as these points, then the points are in some kind of like iffy correlation in a way, so like they are semi together but semi not. So you have a definitive line of best fit most of the time. So say you have a basic line of best fit here. There you go. Say it covers most of the things. Not quite all of them, but quite a lot of them. Thus it's the best line of best fit in a way. So there are some other lines of best fit which you could get away with. Probably something like that. And something like this. Theoretically, these are the worst line of best fit. So, the best one is obviously the middle one, the one that's got through most of the points, and the other two are like a slim attempt to be able to get through with it. So, to work out the gradient, obviously, in A level, you know you need to use a big triangle. So, what I advise is just using the origin, like taking it all the way, and then just like going up. So the way of calculating uncertainties from gradients is basically to be able to do the percentage uncertainty is the best. So that is this one, the middle line, minus the worst gradient. So that would be that one or that one. So best gradient minus worst gradient. So best minus worst over best times 100 because 100 percent so let's say the gradient of this one was 2 the gradient of this one was 1.5 the gradient of this one was 2.3 sure let's go with that so the average for the worst and best gradient would be um 1.9 well, the best gradient is obviously 2. So that's 2 minus 1.9, which is the worst gradient averaged, over 2, which is the best gradient, times 100. Equals 2 minus 1.9 over 2 times 100. A 5% uncertainty. Theoretically, you could also do it when you had two lines, and then it would be... Um, best minus 1.5 over best times 100 that's for like the minimum one and that would be 2 minus 1.5 over 2 times a, times 100 and that would be 25% so combining these uncertainties is like doing um doing this in a way to be able to come up with a solution which is more accurate while if you were to do individual ones you would get like longer differences and that is literally all you need to know for combining uncertainties from graphs